Chavez Slovakia, I know what you're thinking. If we have so many bangers now, what are we shooting later? We shot Maxor. Yeah. <laughs> I thought you were gonna keep going. I was I was ready. <laughs> Your addition was yeah. <laughs> We shot Maxor. We shot Tears. We shot a Lindsay Nicole video. We shot two Lindsay Nicole videos. And I'm sure CJ the Champ is out there somewhere. So <laughs> we're finishing up with some internet historian. Um, uh, we just did a, in a historian video about Forspoken. Yeah, we did. You that know, was torturous. It kind of, yeah, it wasn't the best. I mean, the video was great. No, the video was fine. the game itself was not the best. Apparently hot garbage. And so we're here now for Wanted Dead. What is Wanted? It's literally one of those things, like, the only Wanted thing that I know is the movie, first of all. Sorry, okay. I'm sure it's not that. So here we go. We're just here for namesake. I mean, it could be, you know, uh, the poop shoot. Explain it. I would be like, I, fuck it, I'll click I on it know. and learn I about some poop. Don't sign me up for that. That's what we do with the Frank, the video we just shot today. <laughs> All right, so let's get into it. Brought to you by Incogni. Your mom's Incogni. You knew it. I knew it. Eventually, I would have to stop using Mark Zuckerberg's face <laughs> as the sole branding for what? the channel. Yeah. So, Did he time get a to animorph. <laughs> Okay. I'm Mr. Z now. No association. And that's hey, Mr. B. Buddy, he's, really, he's really skating the top here. <laughs> that's right. We're rebranding the entire channel. I tell you what, they're so quirky and also family friendly. Man, imagine these on a shirt or a hat or an M1 gray. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Never forget what you're fighting <laughs> for. Wanted. Did. We are in a prison. Meet Hannah Stone. Okay. What's up, Hannah Stone? She's a hardened criminal in solitary confinement. But she's also so cool that they let her smoke cigarettes I in see there. That. And the light comes on. Oh, the Too bright for her eyes. <laughs> okay, so Stone saunters over to the door and she puts her hand up to a scanner thing and. Wait a minute, Mr. B. She That's not a normal a hand. hand. That's a robo hand. What kind of customer are we dealing with here? <laughs> the machine scans her hand, and then a slot in the door opens up. Lieutenant Stone, we hope you enjoyed the accommodation. My prison cut? We hope you've been enjoying your stay in jail, Stone. Right. <laughs> I don't have time for this. Neither do I. We're clued in that the voice behind the slot in the door is, in fact, the warden. Never right. comes up again. Oh, hi there, warden. I'm not psychic, but I think you probably want me to pull some trigger in the name of democracy or something. Oh, okay. Is this seriously the voice actress for the game? <laughs> Did you pick this game because she's funny foreign? Not just her. <laughs> Everyone. Oh my god. You got my attention. We got a mission for you, Stone. There's a problem that only you can solve. The robot warden tells Stone, We're gonna need you for one last job. I'll do it, says Stone. You see, I've been given... <laughs> Life sentence. No parole. This must be one hell of a dangerous mission if you want me to do it, Warden. <laughs> Whatever government programs you got there going, I'm cool with it. They just, like, add in the voice lines that they wish were there. Right. You know what? I'll do it, says Stone. So... Who's on the team? Whoa, talk about starting a story with a bang. I, for one, can't wait to see what happens next. I'm ready. Every time they do these games, they just pick the, like, what is the word? Not, like, hardcore, but, like, you know, like that generic, you know what I'm saying? Bad. You have a better vocabulary than that. <laughs> you... You know so many words. <laughs> Help me use them. <laughs> they want like every cliche. You know what I'm saying? Okay. They want like, you know, the hardcore criminal with a uh, with a tattered past, mommy issues, you know, all the zingers, that kind of stuff. They definitely always have zingers. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Like a, you know, like a cowboy movie just pasted over like a fantasy standard. 
I mean, I think you hit it on the head when you mentioned that, like, they always follow archetypes. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Lots of stereotypes, lots of tropes. Yeah. Very trope heavy. You got my attention. A few days later. It is the 22nd of August, 2022, and the time is 9.18 p.m. That's last year. We are at a quaint little futuristic diner called the Atomic Heart. Stone is now in a police uniform and hanging out with a bunch of rowdies at the table. We're about to find out who's on the team. I'm ready. This is Doc. He's okay. in charge of medicals. Yes. But where do you get the name? This is Cortez. His expertise is in explosives. I love Afro And this blonde haired dazzler is Herzog. His job is keeping it real. <laughs> like Jason yeah. Herzog. Yeah. First of all, shouts out to Jason Herzog. Um, but he, him. <laughs> Neurodiver neurodiverse, <laughs> and cap, super straight, LGBTQ plus, hashtag free healthcare, retweet does not equal endorsement. Keeping it real. Damn. Now they're all just quietly sitting at the table and there's a sort of tension Wait, she's in the air. Now? That's the same girl? And that's because they're on call for a big job. They're on duty. Why are her hands But then like the that? tension is broken when the cute rockabilly waitress slinks her way over. Lieutenant? Now it's 9.18 p.m. <laughs> but Stone is ordering from the breakfast menu for some reason and she says, I have some eggs, beans, bacon, make it four slice. No, five. Definitely five. Banana milkshake, coffee with cream. Uh, please don't put milk in there. You just ordered Very a milkshake. You just you know, ordered a milkshake. You are too locked in. You are too invested just... too soon. But like, also, why are you hating on people to go to diners? You go to diners because you get food any time of the day. Exactly. When I show up in the morning, I want a coffee and a fucking cheesesteak. That's weird. But breakfast is a 24-hour affair. And so are burgers. No. Also, the affair with your mom. Eating, hey -o! Eating 24 hours. You're dumb. She's open. Eating burgers before 11 a.m. should be criminalized. Your mom eats my meat before 11 a.m. Let's get into it. I muted it. I that's deserve what you that. get. I that's what. That's that. exactly I, what you I'll get. Take this I'm gonna time. leave that. In. Normally, I'll I edit take, those out. I'm gonna leave that in today. I'm gonna take the time to apologize to you and everyone else's mom. I just offended. Cream has lactose as much as milk does. What? I didn't even notice the cream part. Yeah, girl, what are you talking about? So now well, she's stupid. She is going to be very gassy on the mission later. <laughs> Maybe she's the explosives expert. <laughs> Some orange so juice. And a pack of smokes. Okay, Miss. so they're going for this trope where it's like two number fours, a number five, <laughs> number six with extra dip. That's his black voice, and I want to hear it again. Two number fours, a number five. <laughs> Good job, dude. Pan back over to Doc, and he is sad for some reason. And he orders tomato soup and coffee. Make it Irish. You see, he's an alcoholic, so like crippling, God. like my dad way, not like the funny my mum way. Also, we pan over to her and he goes, oh, special. That's weird. Now check this out. We pan back to Cortez and notice something, Mr. B. He doesn't use his words. He uses his fingies. He's using sign language. He's gone deaf from explosives. Do you reckon that's it? <laughs> oh, that's quite good. Yeah, th that's actually <laughs> interesting. He's actually blind. <laughs> Wait, so Cortez makes the order. But how does the waitress understand what he's saying? Would well, she know sign language? Yeah, she's a waitress at a downtown diner. Of course she reads sign oh, language. She also knows kung fu. Language. So the waitress takes all the orders. And Herzog gives us a reason to love him. He reaches over to his fork and just coyly slides it off the table. Oops, ah, I dropped my thanks. fork. Sturdy dog. The waitress then has to crouch down mm -hmm. to pick it up. Doesn't she know we'll be able to uh, see down her dress? Keep the fork, honey. There's pie. The waitress handed him the same the fork same. that <laughs> fell on the floor. No, no, floor a new door? fork, please. The waitress. No, that's what you get for being an old pervert. You eat off the floor. Comes back with it's some drinks, and time. Doc that, has his alcoholic beverage, and he gobbles it all down God in one damn. drink. And then, instead of saying "Ah, I am fully satisfied," it? I'll have some more. God oh, damn! Take it easy, Tiger. Yeah, Doc. Don't you know it's nine eighteen p.m. They just begun, big guy. They just begun. Yeah, Doc. Take it easy. 
<laughs> so now everyone's ordered. <laughs> and the cool thing is, everyone's order tells us a little bit about them as a character. Oh my so God. Doc drinks too much. Cortez, deaf. Stone, the hardest damn criminal you've ever seen. I just cannot tolerant. drink dairy. And Herzog is, I guess, just a piece of shit. <laughs> but you know what? But he's got a heart of gold and a fat cock. Now, at the back of the cafe <laughs> is a television, and somebody switches on the news. Today is a bad day for Dower. Why? Yesterday, the shares were still trading below their IPO price of $72. At twenty-eight ninety-seven. God damn! Now the news is saying that the stock price for Dow Synthetics is down. But why does that matter? And what is Dow Synthetics? Well, Dow Synthetics are the main company that makes these humanoid synthetic robot people that are used for the majority of hard labor across the world. So it's like a Detroit become human sort of situation. Yeah, but you can't have sex with them. So it's like an iRobot sort of situation. How are you going to stop them? That's the question you have to ask yourself. I mean, yeah. You got to add like a taser in the genital parts. Make it where the battery <laughs> acid goes or something. I guess you could just make it so they don't have genitals. But that's what I'm saying. Like, how do you stop people from installing genitals? You got to put some electronics in there. Most people aren't that good with electronics. I think they're good. I so think when the okay. Nintendo DS came out, we had a bunch of technology that happened. And now I can hook my Nintendo DS up to my computer to shoot vids with it, mm-hmm. to like record the screen. Okay. You just send it in for modifications. Right. And you think people wouldn't do that to fuck a robot. <laughs> <laughs> Mobile robot fuck install. Maybe you're right. <laughs> Maybe I'm not. You can disagree. You don't have to fold so easily. It's fine. No, it's okay. You don't have to agree I'd with this premise. I'd rather not think about it. It's okay. <laughs> I'll let you have this one. Hey, yes. hey. Yeah. You win. Right. How's that? All right. <laughs> <laughs> Just so you don't have to imagine it. News carries <laughs> on. Until we know this. They are using the Keemstar drama alert sound effect in the background. What? Not a clear counterpart on the public market. Dower. I'm pretty sure you're one hundred percent correct. Let's get right into the news. <laughs> synthetics can be trained to say the N word. Dower <laughs> synthetics the down ninety percent. Dower hosts that's the, synth- that's the PewDiePie clip. They put they just put the iRobot guy where PewDiePie was at. But PewDiePie was wearing the little cat ears too when oh, he did that's it. Funny. And this is the this is the clip that he did it in. Oh, that's funny. And yeah, word. That's the clip right Dower synthetics down ninety percent. Dower hosts synthetic story time for kids. Stock price down ninety percent. The waitress then comes over with the food, and I will note that she is not holding any pie. Although Stone is thrilled about the food. Frankie, this shit is incredible. Doc has a couple more drinks. Jesus Christ. Ring ring on the world's thickest phone. <laughs> Stone picks up her phone. Stone, I got a call from me. I'm gonna need your team to get to Dower headquarters. Step. There's not even time to finish your beans. Send me the details, the sooner the better. Right, the scene ends and we are flying over now All to right. Dower Synthetics. Add time. Ah. Look at this, Sandra. It's gifts from the world above. Incogni. Sandra, you and I, we live under the sea. What you don't know about living under the sea is everybody is trying to get your data all the time. Uh, That's why I use Incogni. It's your personal information removal service, man. Oh. Incogni? Put it under the sea. <laughs> right, free. You're the crab now from the mermaid. Oh, more. Everything's better. No, <laughs> it's 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 too, too not to say. Incogni. Bro, well, y'all are going oh crazy God. with your black voices. All right? But at least it was regional specific and accurate to the movie. It just makes sense. There's a whole bunch of people. They're stealing your data. What you want to do, serve them a bunch of legal notices. Say, hey, stop that right now, mister. Oh. So yesterday, Sandra, I was shopping for guns online, yes. right? And Hell also yeah. a saw so I could make the barrel smaller. Damn right. And then all of a sudden, I was at work the next day, and I'm getting ads. <laughs> sawn off shotgun, 60% work. off. And my employer's looking, and I'm going, oh, oh, I don't know why I'm getting these ads. Damn. But I do. I could write to these tough customers and I could say, listen, I don't want you having my data anymore. But if I do that, it takes time. And then turns out there are thousands of companies that are taking my data. So what I do is sign up to Incogni. They scour all of these thousands of data collectors and then they write to them strongly worded letters. If these data collecting companies have any objections, Incogni will write back as per our last email. 
Article 1, sub clause 2, <laughs> I don't think so, in big, bold, exclamation mark. And the best part is, Sandra, you can use code STORYMO to get 60% off an annual plan. This reminds me of a song. 60% off, under the sea. No, no, there's silly. a sea trawler coming. <laughs> oh no, it's collecting our data. Damn. These data companies are like big fishing nets. Damn. And then Incogni is like one of those holes in the net and then the sea turtle thinks he can get out. Well, he can't completely get out, but his little head can pop out of there, and so he's loving it. Incognito's kind of like the can opener that releases the tuna that's trapped. Incogni.com slash story mode and use code story mode to get an exclusive offer of 60% off. Whoa, now that's Good for you. Incogni, it means no worries for the rest of your day. Oh yeah, they're trying to get sued. I don't know. They're really, they're really just, just saying, how, how far does, how transformative do we have to be to avoid a, a summons by Disney? Chapter two. Frankie, Thank this you. shit is incredible. Stone and the boys are speeding over to Dow Synthetics. Stone steps out of one of the police cars. Oh, they're police. And she's got the kicks, and she's got, she's got a katana. <laughs> All right, so they're getting ready for it's one hell of a fight. For. When do you play the game? <laughs> Herzog marches up with the brief. What we know so far is that an unknown strike team attacked Dower Synthetics at 2100 hours. It's like an hour ago. They busted in, barricaded inside, and turned off the grid. Everything would have gone smooth if the silent alarm wasn't triggered. Mm. This is essentially a high stakes robbery. There's a big group of people inside, bad guys, that are there to rob Dallas Synthetics. How many? Too many. How many? <laughs> Too That's many. That's not helpful, you got sir. a specific number there? Like, is that five? Is it 500? And also, when it comes to crime, one is too many. <laughs> Herzog says, let's not go in yet. We haven't been given the order to go in and fight. But Stone, you she likes some action. Anyway? And she yeah. wants to go in there straight away. And Herzog says, no, Stone. We have to hang tight until a private police force, the Mavericks, get here. Otherwise, the captain's going to be up our ass again. We go in. Oh, okay. Okay, then, Stone. You're the boss, Stone. <laughs> yeah, damn. So we're fighting and killing our way through the whole building until we reach a grand set of doors. Hannah knocks. No answer. Well, time for plan B. Cortez, plan the charge. Yeah. And here's yeah. it says, I don't know, Stone. We're supposed to be keeping a low profile. Cortez puts a silencer on his C4. <laughs> <laughs> Literally. Yeah, wait, actually, I just realized something. He goes, Cortez, plan the charge. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> uh, you reckon that's part of his character? He's faking being deaf? Or maybe he yeah. just can't speak. Maybe he lost his tongue. Mm. Cortez sets the explosive and... The squad goes running into the room. Two thieves are wheeling away cartloads of steal? briefcases. Whatever these people are here to steal, it's in those briefcases. My God. What could be inside? The squad gives chase. What the hell is in that crate? But it turns out there's a lot of these thieves, and they're well armed. Clearly. And Stone's so good with her katana, she's like behind the bad guy and God. in front of the bad guy. Amaiwamomo <laughs> Shinderiyu. They carry on throughout the building, making funny clips of each other. For example, this one. Berserk, if you were shooting for shit, you will get it. How does it feel to be an old grumpy alcoholic? Whoa. I don't know. Going down the system. What the hell? Oh, that's how Cortez lost his tongue. <laughs> <laughs> what? All right, it feels like we have to be the translator for this game. Okay. <laughs> because Herzog then replies to that. I'm from Wisconsin. What, what does, does that, that mean? Have to do with Next, anything? they reach right. another obstacle, another door. Also, mm -hmm. that's a missed opportunity for him to just have a like great Wisconsin accent. Cortez then throws his entire body weight against the door, not realizing. Oh. Slidey one. Hannah okay. and the team make it to okay. a big boss room. <gasps> Suddenly, the exterior wall explodes. Boom. I'm a big robot spider and I'm pretty scary. Oh. I got a weapon. Uh, oh, yeah, kill him. 
This robot oh, spider goes die. marching into the room and it's destroying everything. Yeah. So Stone takes it on with her guns and her brand new katana. But the spider ain't going down that easy. Right. You yeah, stab me with just those things. <laughs> but what this <laughs> spider drone doesn't know is that Stone's packing. Uh, I am completely oblivious. And I am marching towards you, Miss Stone. <laughs> Stone has ordered in a missile strike, and it comes right in through what? the ceiling and hits the big what? robot. No, a missile, my one weakness. <laughs> Fade to black. The next scene opens to a very decorated officer Look walking around, and he is being followed closely behind by Tom, Tom Cruise. Cruise. Now, the shot cuts back to the squad as a whole pile of men rush into the room. These are mercenaries. These are not the same people who were robbing the building. That's in big trouble this time, Stone. Now, there's a lot of these dudes right in there, all pointing their guns directly at our squad. So you're four. Done. You're oh, done. no. What will be their fate? But nobody opens fire. Instead, the blonde, very evil looking man steps forward. This man right is called skinny. Richter. You better get on your knees, Stone. You're in big trouble this time. On your knees. Hey, we are with the police. Shut the hell up. You know he's oh. a bad guy because he cussed. Mm. Can we censor that bit out? On your knees. Hands. So I can see them. And you, Stone, <laughs> best you take off your shoes as well. <laughs> Feetsies, so I can see them, please. <laughs> All right, Mr. B. What the... What the heck is going on? on. Alright, so you remember how yeah, about two no. minutes ago Stone wasn't meant to go rushing into the building? Well, that's because there's a mercenary group called the Mavericks, and they were meant to be the first ones to go in and well, stop the robbers. Slow. These are not the same guys that Stone's been fighting this whole time. Now, this guy here is the leader of the Mavericks, and his name is Richter, and he's not too happy that Stone's come barging in. You take their gear. Tom Cruise then gives yeah. Stone a shove with his shoulder. Now, Stone does not like that very much. She's about to give him a piece of her mind. But then Richter grabs Stone by the hair and puts a gun in her face. Damn. This situation is getting very tense, Mr. Say, B. Is Richter is just about to shoot Miss Stone in the face until a new guy walks into the scene. Hey. But I think we've seen this guy before. It is That's the Raymond captain. Holt. You know, the guy from the phone. Yeah. The captain it says... Is. That's just Captain now Raymond Holt. Stone's life is spared. He would have like a some kind of quip based on like a word puzzle or something like that. Yeah. But now we have our big bad for the game. See you around. His real crime is just being ugly. <laughs> <laughs> he had no choice but to succeed in life. That nigga's hideous. The team has finished its mission. They are headed back out the front door. But you may notice that Herzog has something in his hand. It's one of those silver briefcases. Get that from, you know, sir. one of the those 14 just, briefcases that, that those burglars were stealing before. There's something you need to see, Stone. That's Damn. it. Cash. That's it's it. It's full of cash. They was robbing what? them for us cash. so much money. They were stealing cash. That's it. But that doesn't make any sense. No. Because in this beautiful cyberpunk future, you can't use cash here. Right. What's the point? You can't even fucking use it in this part of the world. What a mystery. Stone says, all right, let's take the briefcase and one of these bodies then back to the base. The body? And we can do some forensic analysis on them. What? The squad then all heads back to the base Suspicious. after a successful mission. Cash. Also, look at her Shenron tattoo. Cash. On your knees. Hey, we are with the police. Shut the hell up. <laughs> so, we are now at police headquarters. Hannah walks over to the kitchen and she gets a drink from the drinks vending drinks. machine. Ah, delicious Mulvaney flavor. No, we can't put it in we every can do, video. We can, we absolutely. <laughs> ah, the Mulvaney flavor. Now she's about to bend down to pick it up when all of a sudden. Detective. Oh, a short what a pleasant God, surprise. Damn. Hi there. Oh. Her name is Madam Wong. Well, I mean, if she's Wong, I don't want to be Wong. <laughs> <laughs> wow, look at the size difference. Yeah, this, uh, she's she's like six five. I'm telling you. Did they oh, yeah, she's the vending machine? Blue a Navi? Yeah. <laughs> Madam Wong says, "Cash, cash." You will find my report on your desk tomorrow morning. Cash. 
Thank you for letting me know. Now, we don't really know what the significance of this is right. yet. But I tell you what is significant, the sexual tension between these two characters oh, on the screen it? right now. There'll be a lot to discuss once you're through. It seems pretty dry to me. And you can hear the sound of like the lights in the background. <laughs> and I don't know if that's because the music might be claimed or something like that. But it's like, right. can't stand it. Madam Wong then leaves and Hannah cracks open a cold one. Looking forward to it. She drinks the Mulvaney juice and becomes fabulous. Freezer. Fade to black. We then open up now to the captain's office. So Stone is there in the office and she is being scolded, reprimanded by the captain. He's saying, you fucked it all up. What the hell were you thinking? I don't know, Cap. Standard police procedure? Stop playing dumb with me, girl. We're in deep shit. <laughs> Tell us synthetics is about to pull the plug. What? They want to take you down. And the rest of the team. What, what? is this music? <laughs> Dude, it's a... The, well, the homie on the clarinet is going hard. All right? All of a sudden, an oboe shows up. Oh, it's an And oboe. a lady begins singing. I don't understand. Technically speaking, our contract with the city expires early next Bro. Time. But they believe that X will take over next week. They're making arrangements as we Damn, speak. So in contract? case you can't hear over the opera, the issue is, because of Stone and her team's antics, right. they're going to dissolve this police force. And the only reason Stone got let out of prison was to be here. Damn. So, police force gone, back, she goes back, back to, to jail. We, we figured it out. I don't know why she's taking so much risk. And you're saying it's my fault? I mean, yeah. No, but your shit was the last drop. My shit? Shut the hell up and listen. I raised your outfit like my own children. And my real children? I trained them like a squad. <laughs> I was always there like a good father when some of you made a mess. But this time things are more serious. The captain says the city administration is not quite decided whether they're going to dissolve the police force, but it's looking like it's going to happen. So for now, keep your bloody head down. Dismissed. Aye, aye. Is she gonna give him a little kiss? Because oh, she did! Yeah, can we watch that again? Yeah. And editor, yeah, could you please make it so that it's actually me she's kissing? <laughs> <laughs> You're losing your internet privileges! That's enough stone! <laughs> <laughs> well, how can I stay mad at you? <laughs> we leave the captain's office mm, and a lady so with a cat go. shows up. Can we just on screen put side by side this actress in Metal Gear Solid Five? And this actress in this game. That's quiet. Yeah, that's quiet. Are you serious? Oh, nice. There's something about her features that, that are slightly less recognizable. Nice. <laughs> I feel like I hate her more. <laughs> so, Quiet says, How bad is it? Like, are they definitely going to dissolve the force that you're on? Or? Yeah. Like, totally? Or there's a chance? I hope so. Drop by before you go. Quiet then walks away and the scene ends. Big ass cat. Oh, Mr. B. There's a shower scene. <laughs> oh. So Emma turns on the shower with a light switch. That's oh creepy. my god. Emma poops in the shower and then squashes it down the drain <laughs> with her. <laughs> but like that guy said, that horrid Reddit story, waffle stomping. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Oh, that's ingrained in my brain forever. And then she gets dressed and she heads off to the cafeteria. What the fuck is this game, dude? Oh my there god. There is no one at the cafeteria, but suddenly a bowl of fish head, some cereal, plus sausage, what? and jello arrives. Oh. And Stone also grabs a coffee. And she sits down to eat. She's looking at the fish head. I'll do it. I kind of hope it's Please eye don't. suddenly just goes like, looks at her. <laughs> Hannah rejects the soup. She throws it to the side. Okay, Hannah then starts that. in on the main course. Garbanzo beans. She does battle with the cutlery. <laughs> Breakfast of champions. <laughs> I don't know. Is, like, what is the problem? Ah, the spoon. Just eat the jello. It's just jello. What the fuck is the point of this? <laughs> so she decides not to sip the coffee because it's got lactose in it. And she looks over to see the what squad. The they were here. Why did oh, she okay. sit down on her own? What's wrong with her? She well, I'll tell you that. why, Mr. Z. She's it's because man. Stone 
is haunted by her past. Yeah. Stone suffers from very frequent flashbacks. We're going to be seeing a lot of. Oh. And she's having one right now. Oh. Apartment. Cut to an apartment building downtown. But what's she doing? She's there to take care of some business. Why'd you say it like that? <laughs> <laughs> Floor three, the door opens. She steps into the nicest rent controlled apartment Good. in New York City. Good lord. Then on tippy toes, she approaches a door. Stone opens the door, oh, hoping to find fucking... treasure inside. Police! On the ground is a dead nurse, still wearing the nurse Why hat. Why is she? There's in blood the all around. This is a murder. No, this is like a weird sex thing. Nobody's in this dirty-ass apartment with this clean-ass nerd outfit. I mean, it's not clean. There's blood everywhere. I'm just saying. Compared to the surroundings. She bends down and gives the corpse a wet willy. <laughs> yep. No reaction. She radios into dispatch and she goes, HQ, I found the body. She's been dead for a few hours now. Detective Stone, please stand by. Okay. Just Great. hang out with the body. Well, if she's talking to HQ, that must mean that this isn't just some rogue mission. She's here on police business. Mm -hmm. But while she's on the radio, man shows up behind her. Fuck oh, us, swear to God. Oh, he's got Stone a Stone goes Shit into him. Vats mode. This man has tattoos, long hair, very dirty, and he's wearing a singlet. Mm -hmm. I deduce. This man might just be bonkers. Now, Stone <laughs> says... One more step and I'm putting you down. But the man keeps walking towards her. Uh, it wasn't my fault. I fucking told her. And we can see that he's holding a gun. We will figure it out. Mr. Big, I'm starting to miss the four spoken voice actors. On your knees, hands <coughs> over your head. It seems like Stone's losing her cool, but this man is bonking far too hard. Damn. He raises his pistol and yeah, cusses. Or fuck you! Miss Stone fires. God uh, damn. Did I just do that? I just shot him with my freaking gun! <laughs> <laughs> we do that now? We shoot people with guns? That's a thing. <laughs> Suspect down. Oh my God. No, no, there's no reason to do a wet willy check. He's definitely dead. Stone then walks into the next room, SWAT style. I like how the camera's she always just like just above butt level. Yeah. Like we don't ever get above the shoulder with this. He opens the door and sees a young boy. Oh no. Stone has her gun drawn, but the boy doesn't react. He says, He's dead, right? Oh. I'm afraid so. She says, what? smiling. Mind if I sit? What? Stone sits down beside the young boy and she goes, Oh. Is the space runaway? I loved the show when I was your age. No spoilers. Oh. You have my word. So Stone sits with the boy and watches Space Runaway. She's like, is this what we call a trauma response? <laughs> You're not a regular cop, are you? No, I used to be in jail for war crimes. <laughs> anyway, I killed your parents. <laughs> How could you tell? Uh, you came in and killed my dad. <laughs> what happened here? He shot mom. Right in the head. Nice. I need a new mom. Will you be my new mom? <laughs> Would you stay with me? At That's literally what happened. The kid looks deeply into Stone's eyes. And the flashback ends. <laughs> Alright, so bear with us. We've just come out of one flashback. <laughs> we're about to go into another flashback. Oh, God. But this one is an anime. Oh. What? Just watch. We are watching. Okay. All right, so Stone is now in what? anime mode. Oh! She has bizarre anime hair. Huh. She is of high school age. Oh! Perhaps she will fall in love with the cute, quiet boy who sits in the corner of the classroom and also happens to be magical? You're telling me that I have a persona? <laughs> You're saying I have to save the world? But I'm just like the necklace girl. she had on before. In finals in next week. Look at the time! If she doesn't get going now, she's gonna be late to school and she'll have to run with a piece of toast in her mouth. Is that Dark Souls music? She yes. chooses her favorite Pokemon. Ah. Bunelby. <laughs> Rabbit Chew. What do you mean, a digital world with digital monsters? Oh, that's a good one, yeah. It looks very Digimon-y. 
<gasps> what the fuck is happening? Well, what's this? Um, some sort of broken vial of medicine? Is, is she injecting some sort of intravenous drugs? <laughs> Methamphetamine? Mr. B, this anime is boring. Is this How come heroin? this one isn't all pixelated <laughs> and she's not crying? Heroin. Anime's over. What? Anyway, Herzog shows up. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> what? I said, you don't look so good. Sorry, I just saw Anna, cartoon you people. okay? You're not flashing back, are you? He goes, yeah, I, I kind of was, but that's okay. It's nothing. Good bowl of soup. I know. We have a flashback. When we you see lost your arm. the top-down shot of a body laying on a medical table underneath a sheet. All we can see is the feet poking out at the bottom. Stone and Doc lift the sheet off the body, and Doc says, "All right, Stone. So this guy we got here is one of the people who was robbing the Dower Synthetic headquarters, right. which you'll remember from this cutscene. Yeah, robbed the body, John Doe." Impossible. Well, that's what I thought. So we ran a few tests. DNA, retina scan, fingers. Nothing. He never existed. <laughs> so Stone asks, can someone not be in the system? Nah, when a child is born, he's automatically in the system. Yeah, that's crazy. I know. Then why did you ask? <laughs> but can somebody hack or alter the data? Nah, it's all analog. So essentially, either this guy doesn't have any birth or identification records, which is impossible, or he's connected to people who have the crazy amount of resources you'd need to make someone completely anonymous in this cyberpunk dystopian future. I thought it was one of those, like, you don't have to worry about killing these people because they're all clones. Oh. So shoot away. That, that's kind of how I thought they were going through it, but maybe it's just dumber than that. Hmm, what a mystery. So then Stone asks, well, what about his gun? Surely there's some sort of information there. Well, suddenly the phone rings. Stone walks over to the morgue rotary phone and picks it up. Hello, what morgue here. Hello, it's me, Vivian, the gunsmith. I nice. heard you have a gun. Who told you that? Her talk. She then hangs up on the gunsmith. Hello, hello, have you got a gun? Give her, let's go see the gunsmith. <laughs> doodly doodly do, they leave the morgue. Okay, the end. Stone and Doc go and meet with Vivian the gunsmith in her office. Agent Mulder, Agent Scully. Here it is. What do you think? This specimen was brand new until yesterday. You can still find traces of factory stickers. Interesting. Where did it come from? The factory. Hard to tell. It's a mystery. Even That's I don't know where this job. gun came from, and I'm quiet for Metal Gear Solid 5. So, why so are not you only here? was that guy connected enough to be anonymous, but <sighs> he also had access to secret black market high end military gear? How that he mysterious. Now, suddenly, Stone gets a call on her Bluetooth headset. It's the captain. What has he got to say? Turn on the news. Dell synthetics filed for bankruptcy. Oh, a shit. bunch of synthetics about to start a riot. Okay, Doc, the captain said that Dower Synthetics just went out of business, and now a bunch of their sins have started a riot in Kowloon Park nearby. We gotta get over there and stop them! Alright, so, suddenly oh. the elevator doors open up, and there is a police helicopter ready to take them in, because they are about to fly I don't even know what the accent is. I don't know what it's supposed to be. It's, it's hard to place for me. To the biggest, baddest mission they ever done, dude. We are now in a helicopter and we are headed over to Kowloon Park. That is the scene of the riot. Hey Herzog, why are the synthetics rioting? Yeah, I don't know, Stone. Aren't they just mindless construction robots that don't even have souls or feelings? Right. There'd be no need for them to riot. Right. And Herzog continues on to say, Question, do sense count as property? In a way, I guess they do. That's a lot to think about. Have you ever seen a synthetic? No. The squad has their poignant discussion interrupted by the captain on the radio. He says, Stone, give them hell. They might look human. They might act human. They're not. Open fire. Damn. Okay, okay. Stone. When they said put down the riot, they just meant shoot them? Uh, okay, sure. And slides the helicopter door open, and Herzog grabs his sniper rifle. Herzog, sink your rifle with me. Ready. They look down into a children's playground, what? and they can see a bunch of synths running around. Looks like he's fucking around on the monkey bus. <laughs> open fire! Open fire! <laughs> and Herzog opens fire like it's Sniper Elite 5. What the fuck? Oh! Firing! 
ball shot. I thought it was gonna be like <laughs> electricity things. This is blood. No, he's just shooting people. Oh, these are people. <laughs> no, wait, it's just a super soaker. We're playing in the park. Oh. <laughs> Bring the bird down. We continue on foot. The squad land oh, and walk up the rest of the sets. And See, that's curiously, what I thought. Stone finds one of them that hasn't died yet from all of her bullets. She walks over to it. What the hell? He's begging for mercy. You don't have to do this. <gasps> he might just be human after all. Doc comes in and says, pay it no mind, Stone. There's only one thing for this. He's and gonna then put it Doc down. gives the synth a prescription. Take two of these and call me in the morning. <laughs> safe and sorry. Damn! Yeah, all right, now that everyone is dead, the riot has well and truly been quelled. Oh, she's covered. So now it's time yeah. for Stone and her squad to get the heck out of there, you know, before the cops start coming around. <laughs> all right, guys, we just need to be of going to the helicopter so we can do getting out of here. Wait a minute. <laughs> you see that guy in black? And in the distance, they can see a bald synthetic guy. Is that the leader of the synthetics? The head synthetic? The syntho boss? The boss baby of the synths? There's no time for that, Stone. We gotta get back to that helicopter. So Stone and the squad make their way to the helicopter, which is now landed deeper in the park. Oh, okay. No. So they run across a small stone bridge towards it, but then... Dink, 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 dunk. Oh, sh oh shit. It's get, a grenade! <laughs> get get down! Oh my oh, god. <gasps> the stone is caught in the blast. Oh no, is she dead? Oh no, it was actually oh, like a meter. No. She's fine. Look at her. But, oh no! A new wave of synths pour in and they start shooting the evac heli. This oh, was an ambush. Done for. It's looking bad for Stone, but it's about to get worse. So the camera pulls more. out and we can see that big boss uh, synth standing on the broken bridge and he's looking down at Stone menacingly. He was significantly closer than I thought. I thought there was like a lot of distance between those two people. Oh, okay. He was like right around the corner. Yeah, he was right there. Yeah, they should have ran faster. Stone calls out. Who the fuck are you, man? And the syntho boss replies, Let us be. That is literally Mr. Clean. Clean. Can't do that, April. <laughs> I was hoping you would be more synthpathetic to our peaceful <laughs> cause. But like alas, we must now peacefully fight to the death. Stone, full of rage, goes running at the <laughs> synthetic boss. They're fighting. Ooh. They're duking it out with swords and guns and fists, but Miss Stone is the best fighter of them all, so she bests the syntho boss. But before she finishes him off... What is it that you synthetics want? Why are you doing of the riot? Have you considered that we robots are the real humans? And you humans are actually the robots? No. Uh... You know, so... Think about it, right? <laughs> no, that's that's kind of stupid. Oh, well, I thought that might work. Some, sometimes it does. <laughs> While they're having this discussion, the helicopter is still taking fire. It's about to crash. Explosion! The Explosion. plate is flying off. Flames everywhere. Now, at this point... You know, this is completely besides the point, but I do sometimes wish that my dreams were narrated by internet historian. <laughs> <laughs> Explosion. If my dreams were narrated by internet historian, they mm -hmm. would have even less focus than they already do. I would never wake up. I would just be in a coma. Yeah, right. It would just never end. Yeah. Just continuously go on. Yeah. But why did he do that? Let's talk <laughs> about it. I don't actually know whether the squad was on that helicopter that just exploded. Are they dead? There's no time to mourn now. I've got to focus on finishing the mission. Killing that boss synth. But just before she launches into another attack, she's shot. Oh. Mr. Stone, no! Right where my armor was. The camera shot reverses, and we see another synthetic. Damn. But this time, a lady one. <laughs> this female synth was the one that shot Stone, and it looks like she was trying to save the synth boss? The girl synth keeps firing at Stone, and Stone stops, drops, and rolls. While she's busy, the synth boss courageously runs away and jumps onto his own escape helicopter that just appears from somewhere, and he bravely escapes. Okay, what about the you lady know, synth? For the cause. He swings past his synth oh, okay. waifu, and there she says, go. Can I come to? All right, but there's no room on board, so you're going to have to hang out the side. The synth boss grabs her arm, and she's dangling from the helicopter. <laughs> A bullet flies in and tears into the boss's oh. chest. But who? It was Herzog! It was a fake out. The squad wasn't in the helicopter. 
the robo boss drops his no! girlfriend. Damn. No! But he can't stop to get her, so the robo boss makes his escape. Damn. End oh yeah, he gonna have beef about that. You have to. Sometime he later, gonna, he's gonna hack your MacBook. <laughs> the police are now at the park where this whole big gunfight just went down, and they're surveying the aftermath and starting on the cleanup. And the captain shows up on the scene and he does not look pleased, not one bit. God damn it, Stone. Do you have any idea the mess you've made? What not did you one want? arrest. This is Kowloon Park, for God's sake. Damn it, Stone. I said no civilians this time. <laughs> what in the world happened here? What? You sent me in here for that. that. You know, Cap? Holy shit. They sure do look human. You have never seen one before? Sir, their leader. Leader. Yes, there was a guy, heavily scarred, gang tattoos. Gang he seemed tattoos. to be in charge. He escaped on a helicopter. I thought he was a simp. I thought they were not real people. When did he have time to join a gang? <laughs> what the fuck? Did he get jumped in? Why? A black heli, military spec. There was a weird thing about his escape. He had a girl with him. A female? Yes. We got her. She's alive. The Damn, camera pans down, kicker. and we see the synth boss's girlfriend <laughs> lying unconscious on the ground. I question her. Herzog then interrupts the captain. He's saying, Captain, I got a theory. It might not be true, but just entertain me for a moment. Sir, too many things happen at once. The heist, the body, now this. What do you mean? Every lead we have says there's a new player in town. Get to the damn point. I'm just saying that we might be on the wrong side here. Oh, shit! Detective Stone has a lead. Wake up. This case reeked from the very start. Well, then why did you Do I need to explain how me? you get paid at the end of each month? Why are you... Okay. Sorry, Stone. That was confusing. cryptic. What I'm trying to say is that I'm aware that this whole synth situation with Dower is very suspicious, but this police force is essentially funded by Dower. Yeah. So we can't go around asking questions like, why do these synths look and act so concerningly human, Stone? We can't do it. So you just got to keep your nose to the grindstone and just keep doing the jobs I give you. And we fade to black. We then fade in to Doc putting that female synthetic into the back of a SWAT van. She's under arrest. Doc throws the synthetic in the back of the van like an old bag of synthetic potatoes. Whee! He then closes the door, <laughs> ending the scene. Yeah, I lifted her up. Gosh, she's a human being. She's not. She's a magnetic. You have to do this. What the fuck? We are now back at Police HQ. And Where's we are the in the captain's office because we're all in big, big trouble. Well, you passed the mission. You did everything that was expected of you. See, I'm furious, naturally. I wasn't born yesterday, okay? The captain takes a flask of poison out oh, of his top drawer and God. starts pouring it into his glass. This is the end. I think they're actually trying to imply that it's alcohol. This is anyway, where he takes a big from. sip. Is that meant to be cool? Because it's like he breathed out after he takes it's oh, not meant okay. to be. It is really. <laughs> Sir. Here we go again. Shut up, Herzog. I am monologuing, says the captain. Mistakes are being made. What are you talking about? This is not a souvenir. The captain then glances at a horn in a glass box. Okay. Sir Nathaniel oh. Wallace used to rally his troops with the sound of this horn. Whenever the Germans heard the horn, they were so scared that suffocating on mustard gas was a better option than face Sir Nathaniel's grit. Look at this thing on the wall next. 1916. It was later passed along with the revolver to his children that fought the Germans in a different war. The sound of this horn was somebody's bane. Sir Nathaniel's grandchildren fought the Viet Cong. Then his grandchildren's children fought Taliban. So they lost twice. Damn, that's fucked it's up. It's a bunch say. of fucking losers, is no, what I'm hearing. No, because they won against the Germans, babe. But the Taliban and Viet Cong is that they lost twice. We won against the Taliban. There's no, we no, didn't. There's no more Taliban. Taliban's gone. What do you know about Middle Eastern uh, Saddam po Hussein political... is dead. And so is uh, right. Osama bin we Laden. We literally left. But we killed those guys, so no more terrorists. And the Viet Cong, Obviously. what about that? No, we lost that one. 
<laughs> you, it's like, it's like, ain't no defense here. The, what's the point? I guess is what I'm trying to get at. You got this, the horn is blah, blah, blah. What's the point? You literally said, shoot him. That was the instructions. Yeah. Then they shot him. They're like, what are you doing out here shooting people? Yeah, I don't know why they're in trouble at all. Guess what? The sound of this horn meant instant perdition and devastation. Oh. But then the captain becomes wistful and he says, what I didn't have is children. What? I what guess that I was never fit for fun. What's going on? Herzog pipes up again. Sir, I just want to say... You shut the hell up, Herzog. I ain't done yet. Wow, maybe he does have it in him to be a father. <laughs> the cat then turns and goes... You Whoa. motherfuckers are like my own children. And I cannot believe my own that? eyes when I arrive on the scene. You look Bodies, dead policemen, a crash helicopter, dead fucking androids, piles of corpses. You... You... I... I feel just as indignant about this as I did when my parents accused me of not doing what they told me to do. Listen here. If you give an instruction, but you lack details, I want you to shoot the people, but I don't want any bodies. Like, I, just, I don't know. What, did you, what did he want them to do? Well, take the sniper rifle and the military helicopter right, but, and your katana that I know you used to chop people up with. But don't kill anybody. And go discuss our differences with the enemy. Peacefully. Yeah, peacefully. And I'm your dad. And just because it's an interracial relationship doesn't mean that you get to use the N-word too. White honky babies. Shut up while I'm talking to you, little white boy. I'm your daddy. I just don't understand. They should have let us write this movie. We'd have done a great job. Informs or not, this shit is all over the news. The, the captain song. then throws the book at her. What do you want them to do? We then cut to Stone. She's sitting in the chair. He's still bloody. She's just coming in blood. <laughs> do you have a wet wipe? I'm really pretty disgusted right now. Captain? Look. We didn't expect resistance. Yes, you did. That's why you brought the sniper rifle. I'm so okay. You have to stay vigilant, always. What the, the captain fuck then is this tells about? everyone, "All right, get out of my sight." Oh God! Dismissed. Everyone stands up. They go to leave. Also, why is we this look on him here? as chair? And she wasn't even involved. It's like a big bloody <laughs> imprint. <laughs> Lieutenant, one more thing. Look. In due time, I won't be able to protect you. You'll have to make hard decisions and take care of the boys. Listen, Stone, although you're locked up for war crimes, and I always blame you for everything, one day I'll be passing the torch on to you. Anyway, now you can leave. We then fade to black. Okay. And when we open to the next shot, we see Stone going in for a shower. Okay. Again. Jackie, she's going to take her clothes off. Let's find out. Okay, okay. Chest Ew. about underwear. <laughs> Emma then steps into the shower. And just before it gets good, the scene ends. Darn. What is the point of it then? <laughs> Stop showing me a shower scene if you're not going to show me titties. Bro, it's not even that. Not only is it not even showing titties, there's no like conversation no, there's or like nothing. oh miss wong you're in here too like method it's just man literally, i was waiting for miss wong to walk in bro it's literally just a shower scene and we just go by the way she takes showers all right on chapter whatever oh god you know what mr b i think it's time for a bit of an intermission see the thing is we really cut this game to shreds mm. and in doing so we, we have reconstructed frankenstein together a sensible game but I don't think the audience can really appreciate how bewildering it is at times. Okay. And so let's just indulge ourselves for this particular chapter by showing some of the random socializing scenes oh, that no. happen. You can get I a don't. sort of grasp for what the game is like on a minute by minute basis. You don't have to do this. We open to a neon lit ramen stall at nighttime. It's always ramen. Vivienne and Stone are now sitting down to a ramen dinner, and they're having a nice girl chat when all of a sudden, no, Herzog shows up. Hey, we were in the middle of something here. I smell cat's piss for some reason. What could it be? What the hell? Hi, Vivian. Oh my Jesus God. Jesus fucking Christ, you're an animal. No, Stone, I'm a gourmet. Place your bet what and the let the Wheel of Fortune make a choice for you. What? Tonkotsu? That's a good one. Did he just First, steal her ramen? You observe the bowl. There's a cat back there. Appreciate it. According to the record of the Yokohama Ramen Museum, ramen originated in China 
and made its way to Japan in 1859. We need a budget and we need the kind of uh, uh, freedom that these guys have. All of the freedom and budget in the world mm -hmm. doesn't matter, babe. You mm -hmm. know why? Why? Because we don't have the fucking audacity. <laughs> okay. Fuck? You know how we flashbacked into anime for no reason? Well, now we are going to VO into Australian for no reason. We know that the first specialized ramen shop opened in Yokohama <laughs> in 1910. Tonkatsu, the pork bone, is something wow. Lieutenant Hannah Stone was really looking forward to. What? And so did Sergeant Arnold Herzog. I have a m big question. Oh yeah, what is it, Mr. B? Wh why, why did they do this? You know, <laughs> I've been having that same question the whole way through the game. We've edited it down so it doesn't seem so bewildering. But it's like this the whole way through. <laughs> then Vivian says what we're all thinking. Eat the pork. Uh, but what? her dog pushes her back and goes, No, 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 no. Just touch it. What? What's important here is to apologize to the pork by saying, See you soon. Oh, shut the fuck up, Herzog. Oh, at least slurp the soup. Shut what? the fuck up, Herzog. Sometimes I feel that you hate joy. <laughs> A good bowl of soup is better than sex, Stone. Why is he uh, touching Stone everybody's wrong. food? What's the deal with you and this goddamn you just soup? stole her ramen. Soup. I enjoy life, not the soup. It's pretty good, though. Something I really missed in the can. That's right. Herzog used to be in jail as well until he was put onto the police so force. So he's just, he's just hurt. At least you had a cellmate. Okay, enough just watching. Herzog is about to say an important bit, so listen closely. It was this crazy Russian chick, Kolchak. Okay. Well, it's some serious nightmare, if you ask me. Don't worry, that was actually a critical plot point. Oh. That what? is going to come up what? later. What? They actually locked up the woman with you? Don't say it. <laughs> no. It was me who got locked up with her. <laughs> then they arrested him. He was drinking from one of the Dylan Mulvaney cans. And they went <laughs> You're right, we don't have it. We couldn't do it. We couldn't make this with a straight face. I just... <laughs> we couldn't do it. It's like to make sure they had the money for everything else, they bought their dialogue writers at the Dollar Tree. Yeah, man. You know how like uh -huh. some people are idea people. Yeah, you I'm know? an ideas guy. Yeah. Yeah. And then some people have to execute those ideas. Right. I'm an expert with actual skill. Right. Yeah. But when you... <laughs> When the ideas person mm -hmm. decides to also be the person who executes the ideas, mm -hmm. this is the kind of shit that happens. It's, it's way too on the nose all the time. <laughs> okay, so at this point, they finally decide to eat food. They hand over the chopsticks, and then they go, fellas, I don't think the audience Why is confused you enough. <laughs> you can't share chopsticks. Oh, okay, I get it. What? <laughs> What? 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 Do you think they're gonna dissolve the police force? Or? I mean, I don't know, because that means it wouldn't mean Hannah has to go back to jail. Time for the war crimes. Yeah, yeah. For the war crimes. <laughs> this can't be. And a new scene begins. We are back at the diner, I, the atomic diner. I thought that was the end of the game. I got really worried. Oh, yes. What happens? What happens? Oh Miss Stone sits down across from the deaf guy and, and Doc. All right, Mr. B, here you're about to see some riding chops. They are going to swap between four talking points in the space of one sentence. Watch this. Hey. Hey, yourself. You want something? My treat. Doc man. starts by trying to butter up Stone by offering to buy her anything she wants off the menu. Mm -hmm. How was your drink? Tastes like regret. Stone then pivots to addressing Doc's crippling alcoholism. Stone, you sure don't want a slice of that bacon? Doc tries again and offers Stone some of his food this time. Spare me the sin of making you lose weight. Completely unprovoked, Stone just calls Doc fat, which is never okay, by the way. It's never okay. You think you can ask Madam Wong if she has a thing for me? What? Like, you know, girl talk. Remember Madame Wong, that lady from the vending machine yeah, earlier that was very clearly into Stone. I was well, say, she's Doc into Stone. has a thing for her and wants Stone to see if he has a chance. That's, not gonna That's work, why bro. he was trying to bribe her. 
I think that seat is taken. Stone then says that no, Madam Wong's probably already taken. If this is getting confusing, don't worry, because Madam Wong never comes up in the story ever again. <laughs> but don't worry, guys. Herzog's just showed up. Here he is, the life of the party. Oh, I mean, he's got a joke and everything. Oh, and Vivian's with him, too. <laughs> okay. Come on, Herzog. What do you got? I bet he walks in and goes, Whoa. I'm from Wisconsin. <laughs> he points it out. Man, Doc's fat. Jesus, would you please stop? All right, knock it off. You seem to be very hostile today, Hannah. Today? Shut the hell up, all of you. What she is under a lot of stress happened? with the weight of the responsibility she has for this team. Doc takes another sip of alcohol. <laughs> Ew, get out of my ear! Vivian pipes up to cut the tension. I think I'll have a shake. <laughs> and Stone says, What did I do to deserve you? Now, there's a note That's here from it. the editor, and it says this. <laughs> there is no editing here. This is just simply the next <laughs> okay. scene. All right. <laughs> 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 <No>. <laughs> we are now no. doing a karaoke minigame. Oh, okay. no. German to 99 Luft balloons. <laughs> but then by the end, they're all up <laughs> it's so long. You know what? All's forgiven, says the captain. The inexplicable scene ends. And mercifully, so too does the chapter. Wow. Okay, thanks a lot. Today, On the Shut chapter the hell six. Up, all of you. Hey. So we move on to the next scene. Hey yourself. Stone meets up with Doc and Cortez outside of the interrogation room at Police HQ. Through the window, we can see that female synthetic uh, sitting alone at the interrogation Please. table. How? Stone asks... What is she? Doc You've been pipes so up. Many he says, I don't know, Stone. She's meant to be a synth, but everything about her almost seems human. Is Doc gonna do that like lonely boy thing when then he just tries to like, like date the synth? Oh, maybe. Stone enters the interrogation room. God, she's tall. There are a few questions <laughs> I need to ask you. You got a protocol or something? Protocol? Yeah, like directive on how you should be questioned by the police. There's no firmware, officer. All right, look, there's a lot of very cryptic dialogue, Assassin. so we're just going to simplify it for you. The answer is no. There is no protocol for these synthetics to talk to the police. Identify yourself. What's your number? A number? A number? My name is October. That's a the robot rejects name. the idea of a number. That's this a is my name, name instead. Bro, you picked a month? October's a good name. It's a good month. Oh, I thought you said it's a good name. I did, but I meant month. Oh, okay, that's fine. It could be a good month, but it's a stupid name. I'm not I'm not letting that up. I'll come at you. We can't name our kids. I'll come at you, bro. We can name him Octavian. That's that's a dumb name. If he's our eighth kid. Ooh. Hmm, we have eight babies with me? Only if I get to yeet the first seven. Okay, done. Drop kick seven, <laughs> have eight. I am human. Who gave you the name? October shrugs, but she isn't going to say. So Stone changes tack. She says, You know, you are awfully calm right now. You don't seem to be bothered by all this. What's the worst thing that could happen? Well, says Stone, I mean, very I threateningly. Right, like she killed your friends. Things, if you don't act along. First question. Why did you attack the police? When Dower Synthetic seized all operations, we were to be recalled by the bank. Do you know what recall is? No, I Murder. don't. What happens when I mean, you get yeah. recalled? Abortion. New mission. New memories, if any. Oh. Stone clarifies. So they just wipe your memory or something? So they just make you forget things? They do, and I'm angry about it. Grr, I don't want that to happen to me. I don't want to forget things. Oh. Uh, Detroit become human. <laughs> One. 28 stab wounds. Also, God I damn. robot. I did not murder him! Stone tells that robot to calm down. I get it. Stop the drama, okay? Whoa! Alright, let me ask you the next question. So... What do you yeah, I know. do it hurts. exactly? Like, I know you're a rogue Sith, but what do you do on a day-to-day -day basis? What's your job? October gestures, asking Stone for one of her cigarettes. What? Stone obliges. She what? lights it in her own mouth before putting it into October's. That's what? Sexual. They call that one the old jailbird kiss. I just yeah. want to point out, she's not handcuffed. 
October then laments. She says, I was working in a steel mill. And it was really tough. They used us to do all the really hard work. And also there was dangerous stuff. It is a very tough life to be a synth. Stone says, It must have been a difficult job working in a steel mill. Must be a shithole. Yes, that is why I ran away. That is why I tried to escape. All right, says Stone. Let me ask you the next question. When were you activated? When were you born? How old are you? I don't remember. My memories have been wiped too many times for me to know just how old I truly am. But Stone's on to the next question. She asks, I heard that you guys have some sort of special robo implants on you. What's the purpose? What do they do? Pain, mostly. Oh. The implants Get exist the to cause pain. Wow, that sounds like a terrible implant. I wouldn't want that. So if a violation occurs, I get zapped. Zap? Zap? Yeah. Damn. Do you feel pain? Do yes! You? She just I don't get it. She just... If you're a synth robot and you don't want to get zapped, why don't you just obey? What reason would there be to not just comply with your orders? Sometimes you get tired. Wait, you get tired? As a synth? You don't get it, do you? I'm flesh and bones just like you. Right, that's why She's when you shot human, them, there was blood. After all. I mean, then why is Stone putting the blame on her? I just don't get it. Furthermore, says the synth lady. Fucking heat, no food and water, hard conditions to survive. Okay, we're not making this up right. She really says this. In fact, it would be better to be a robo sex worker in this world <laughs> than to be having to do all this hard labor. <laughs> but let me put that in a more crass way. I'd rather be a good fuck than a roughneck. Wow! The shot cuts over to the two-way mirror. Doc's like, a good fuck, huh? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's exactly right, bro. Listen, you gotta dress for the job you want. You, you can't know. be hanging out still in your construction worker outfit if you're gonna go be a robo-sex worker. You know how it is. <laughs> you're going down the red light district. Yep. It's kind of dark. Yep. You can't see him. No. You see the one <laughs> you pretty girl, you know, but she's wearing high vis, you think. That's her. And, but then if the police come along, you just stand beside some cones. Yeah. You're like, it's fine, it's fine. <laughs> Stone finally asks October about the leader of these rebel synths. She says, Who was the scar drone? Is he the one calling the shots? But October doesn't give out any information. Stone gets very frustrated at that. Look, I ain't got all day. Here's what's going to happen next. My boys will get down here and start tearing your fucking carcass apart. Now make sure you're with us until they're through. You got that? But October, she doesn't care much for Stone's threats. Oh, well, she says, I came into this world and a body bag. What? I have no trouble leaving it in the same manner. What do you mean? So Stone calms down. She goes, well. You're a curious case, F-188. Says Stone derisively, deliberately you... not using October's real name. Where did you get but the then, number from? October no flips idea. the script. She asks Stone a question that Stone might just not have the answer to. How do you know you're not one of us? You know. A synth. I'm not. How oh, well, know? case closed. That's the beauty of it. Not everyone is a mindless doll. Sometimes they wake you up, you know, with memories of yesterday. Which is my cryptic way of saying they often give synths fake memories. Mm -hmm. So you have a false backstory to your whole life. Mm -hmm. You could be a synth, Miss Stone. Just like moi. But it's, it's one of those questions about like, what if we're living in a simulation? What yeah. if this is really the Matrix? Yeah. So fucking what? What do you want me to do about it? Well, then obviously if you're a synth and uh -huh. they're synths, uh -huh. then you have to work together with Sorry, the lady, I'm playing the police cosplay. I won in this. I drew lots. They gave me the good memories. They gave you no fucking mem boo hoo, bitch. Isn't this whole thing just Blade Runner? <laughs> <laughs> is that not what this is? That's, is why that's, why they add, that's why they added the karaoke. Do you ever have flashbacks, Miss Stone? Ooh. You know, Ooh. anime style. Clocked you. That's dumb, says Stone. That dumb. But you have given me a lot to think about. Stone then what turns is the and. Is his voice he's doing mocking her voice? I think so. Got it. Quietly leaves the interrogation room. Stone meets back up with Doc and Cortez. Doc says, wow, the organic way that she acts and speaks. I gotta say. She's human. After all, 
Wait, but wasn't Doc the guy that in the previous scene just shot yeah, he one went, that bah, bah. was begging for his yeah. life in the oh, head? Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah, Uh-oh. he's ruthless. Yes, she very much seems to think that she is human. But, but this then what do we do next? So, says you know. Doc. Stone says, you should... Take blood samples, figure it out. That'll help us to figure out if maybe they're more than just robots. Why do maybe they they're have made with samples? pieces of human or something. We have to find a quantifiable way to figure out how much blame to put on them. Now? You got other plans? Doc reluctantly agrees. And that's the end of the chapter. Okay. Huh? Is it? Okay. I don't want to forget things. We fade back in from black. And Sue Goy, we're in another anime flashback. God damn it, man. Stop saying that. Miss Stone is there in the waiting room of our hospital. You can call her Stone Chan, it's fine. She's looking around at all the other sick patients. Ooh, they disgust her. Stone stands up and walks forward. And she kind of looks like, oh, when's my turn to see a doctor? Don't worry. Then, to her right, a kindly nurse comes over and says, Don't worry, Miss Stone. You'll get all the medicine you need. Everything is going to be all right. The kindly nurse leads Stone down the solemn halls of the hospital. And finally, Stone reaches a doctor's office. The doctor's drinking some sort of fancy tea while he's reading the newspaper. He offers Stone a seat and then places a blue folder with a bag of red pills in front of her. Stone pipes up. She says, What's this? The treatment. I don't understand. Latent tuberculosis infection is no joke. This is as an it. Once daily for nine months. Mr. B, what's happening? So it would seem that Hannah Stone is here about the treatment of latent tuberculosis. Ooh, who'd she get that from? Probably sharing toilet seats or something. Ew. Okay, okay. You need me to sign something? Only the check. Damn. I'm sorry. It's an antibiotic. It costs money. money. What are you talking about? Okay. Right. How much? <laughs> Eight thousand. How much? Eight thousand. Sorry, I'm so sorry. Are you How you much? know I don't have the number of 8, that which money number? <laughs> <laughs> Where am I supposed to find the money? You don't have insurance? They don't have insurance in the future? Obviously not, it's dystopian. Oh, dystopian future got rid of insurance companies? Yes. I figured it would just be one big insurance right. company. <laughs> For the first months. But we have insurance? Oh, okay. oh. <laughs> Your insurance covers ambulance costs. Maybe a doctor's visit. It doesn't cover the drug. So it's not the future at all, it's just right now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> The shitty insurances don't cover anything but ambulance ride and your first annual doctor's visit. Yeah. And then the rest you just pay out of pocket costs. What kind of people are you? So it looks like Stone needs this life saving medicine for the tuberculosis, but it costs too much money. Now, let's just take this step by step. Sure. I've been to many doctors. I'm a sickly man, unfortunately. At what point do you discuss mm. the payment of pharmaceuticals? With the doctor. Never. <laughs> it's like, what are you going to do? Negotiate? Like, what's... I like the idea. How much is it going to cost? He doesn't know. He's like, 8000 <laughs> <laughs> Two bucks? <laughs> it's just like, it's completely wrong. Stone storms out of the doctor's office without the medicine. The real fantasy here is that she got to see an actual doctor and not a nurse practitioner. Oh, that's so fucking funny. <laughs> and it's funny, too, that the doctor had the pills, like, at his desk. Right. Yeah, he works for the government, for sure. <laughs> doctor cracks a smile. An <laughs> evil <laughs> smile. I know. He loved that. He loved that. I love it when people die. <laughs> I think I'll be heaven one of these. Maybe just for <laughs> he takes one of the pills and puts it into his pipe and then takes out a thousand dollar bill and smiles. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. Are we back you need me to sign something? Now? Only the check. Herzog yes. had a hunch on something. He started digging around in the archive, and he found an old tape. He wants everyone to watch it. Watch this. Oh, no. oh no. In the footage, Hannah Stone is sitting on one side of the table, interviewing a guy on the other side, Mustafa Mercer. Now, we haven't met Mustafa Mercer before. Okay. But Hannah has. While looking at the monitor, Stone says, Mustafa Mercer. Who? My first case. 
Maybe second. He's a submarine smuggler. God Should have damn. killed him when I had a chance. Dang! I remember the name. Herzog says that he's familiar who? with the case. Fast then why did you say who? Herzog fast forwards to a good bit. This is where Stone shines. Her powers as an interrogator unmatched. You do understand that I will fucking kill you. Which you actually can't do. Either I tell you and walk out of here or you put a bullet in my head, Sheriff. Threats aside, Mustafa then says something pretty interesting. He says, I came to this world in a body bag. You think I'm afraid to leave it the same way? He said poetically. Hmm. Wait a minute. I've heard that badly written, broken piece of English before. This is what the female synth was saying. In a body bag. Maybe they know each other. Why are they Maybe we've now? got ourselves a lead. What do you think? Stone's neurons are firing in overdrive. It's Jimmy Neutron. Too many things at once. Ah. Well, I better go talk to this Mustafa Mercer guy and see if he knows anything about these synths. We see the last little bit of this interrogation footage. Playing tough with me, girl? I've seen tough. Oh my god! She I don't think you're allowed to do it. that. No, she turned um, she turned her body cam off. So she shoots Mustafa and then goes, eh, hey, looks like I got my confession. What the fuck? Ah! Doc asks, did you let him go? Uh-huh. I'll take Cortez. He wants ramen. And I want some answers. So Stone and Cortez leave. And then the scene ends. <laughs> what that the is just this fuck, game. Dude. And then the scene right. ends. Stone right. and Cortez head off to find Mustafa Mercer. The scene opens to the beautiful stone facade of a club called the Death, Death Panther, Panther, Panther Club. A Death Panther. Stone yeah. and Cortez okay. roll up in their Maserati police cruiser. Hmm. But as they approach the front entrance, With the doors guns. swing open, and two dudes start walking out. God. Damn With them bitches, heavy. It looks like they're bouncers, and they're carrying what looks like a body bag. The bodyguards say, Oh, she fucking OD'd, man. What's with the bag? If she comes through, she gets a nice raincoat. If not... Damn. <laughs> okay. That's actually... <laughs> <laughs> That's actually oh, we've even got courtiers laughing at that one. <laughs> You're gonna leave that out the front of the club? Stone and Cortez walk up there? to the front doors and push them open. They Damn, open the they door and I believe Maniac is playing. <laughs> Suddenly, what? we're back in anime mode what? and Stone and Cortez are advancing through the packed nightclub with their weapons drawn. They head through a couple oh of very God, large doors again. and they enter copyright safe regular 3D world. The camera zooms across the private back room of the club, and we see Mustafa Mercer. He's a black guy with white hair in a cool blue jacket with leopard print on it. Thanks and a also lot. a monocle. Ooh. Now this is the guy from the interrogation tape from before. Uh -huh. Stone and Cortez saunter their way over, oh no. still vibing from that sweet club track. But the camera jumps up to a mysterious mm. woman sitting on a balcony. She has purple hair oh <gasps> and a I'm rugged, so no-nonsense style. And she says aloud while throwing gang signs. Welcome to the worst day of your life. Wait. Mr. B, who the hell is this? You'll remember, this is Kolchak. And Kolchak is one of the women that oh, Herzog was in jail yeah. with. Then there was this crazy remember? Russian chick, Kolchak. Yes, oh, I remember. And he said that she's one uh, of Dev's uh, Stone confronts Mustafa. Oh, okay. The party is over. What? You heard the lady. So Stone pulls out her pistol, the very same pistol that she shot Mustafa in the leg with in that interrogation tape all those years ago. And she says, Same gun. Would you please stop munching in front of me? I think they're going for like a little bit of Guardians of the Galaxy. Oh my god, we gotta save the universe? We gotta... Are you asleep over there? It's that? Now Mustafa says oh. in his cockiest voice, this is not like the last time. I have powerful friends now, bitch. Ooh, no? Dawn's very smug. She looks right like. I don't see anyone. In you the foreplay, says right. Stone. Stone tosses over a photograph <laughs> of October, that female synth from before. And she goes, do you know who this is? 
Now, Mustafa says... I mean, she looks like a bad bitch and totally my type, but... I have no clue who she is. Nice yeah, construction workers. <laughs> Sorry. I, I'm not a very bashful person about saying weird things, but I just don't think I'd ever be comfortable referring to a woman that I'm involved with as a bad bitch. And that's clear, given your accent. But let me tell you, it's very comfortable calling women bad bitches. There's nothing wrong with that. Right, love? Right, love? Go away. You want to be my bad bitch and no, totally my type? shut up. You want to be my bad bitch and totally Everything my type? Everything about this is so awful. Yeah, it's bad. All of it's bad. Bad bitch, even. Does <laughs> that make it work? Stop, no. Give me my things back. <laughs> I mean, I'd get it tattooed, but I wouldn't say it. So Mustafa says, I don't know nothing. But Cortez, he's not buying it. He mouths to Stone. That's the first time he's ever spoken. <laughs> he just mouthed words. He can mouth stuff the whole time? Yeah, he still knows English, doesn't <laughs> he? Oh my god. Well, you can't now, sign because he's holding the, the gun. The armed bad right. guys in the room start to encircle Stone and Cortez. They're getting ready for a fight. Now, this is one dance circle you don't want to be in. Now, Shut Mustafa up. says, That bad bitch must have told you that I was somehow implicated in her schemes. Otherwise, you wouldn't be here right now. Yeah, come on, spill the beans. Tell me what you know, Mustafa. What the fuck do you want from me? Tell me more. Yeah, all right. I'm involved. That was but easy. it's a difficult, complicated situation. And the reality is this. When money talks, few are deaf. I took the job. I mean, what choice did I have? I mean, they offered money. Which is my it. very cryptic way of saying I was paid by August. Who's that bald guy that you saw on the helicopter, remember? Oh, He's the money. leader of the Synth Rebellion. I was paid by him to do a job. Tell what me more. Job? That's pretty much my main role, to smuggle synths for August mm -hmm. and help his cause. And you know why I do it? Because I'm a synth as well. Okay. Dun, dun, dun. Although the truth is, I would like to stop. Why don't you just doing stop of the smuggling? Oh you my see, god. You see, nobody knows that I'm a synth. August and October knew though, so they were leveraging that information against me. Threatening, blackmail, that's illegal. Now the bewildering <laughs> conversation <laughs> blathers on for a while, till suddenly, in Stone's airpiece, Doc patches in with an update. Stone, she's 100% human. Referring to October. What the actual fuck? So basically, at that moment, the big revelation of the game has opened up. Those robot slaves were just human slaves. Ah. Wait till Mr. Lincoln hears about this. Ah. Wait till Mr. Lincoln hears about this. It's really oh fucking God. funny. I... <laughs> yes. Thoughts. Feelings. Doc is going to feel really bad about shooting that guy. Doc to me is like Krillin from Dragon Ball Z. Okay. You know, like he was hoping they were all actually androids. Okay. I don't know anything about Dragon Ball Krillin Z. Krillin from Dragon Ball Z? Him and Android 18 have a baby together. What? But it's Android. Krillin and Android 18 hook up. Krillin grows hair, is a father, and has a child. Okay. How was I supposed to know any of that? I don't know how you didn't know any of that. How would I know any of that? I don't know how you didn't. I've never seen Dragon Ball Z. We're going to watch it. You don't make that sound appealing oh, at all. Oh, you got to see it. It's so fucking funny. So anyway, point is, Doc is curling. Yeah. Okay. They don't have the technology to make proper synthetic people yet, mm -hmm. but they can augment n normal people. Correct. Mm -hmm. So they augment them, market them as synths, mm -hmm. so you can get around, you know, slave labor laws. Those pesky slave labor laws. Yes, so we shall make them garbage men and do difficult jobs. Like being a working mum. That's the hardest <laughs> job of all. Stone says, but <laughs> why good. don't you want people to know that you're a synth? Maybe it's a good thing. Be proud of your synth stuff. But Mustafa says, no, they'll just treat me like a robot. You think they care? Do you think they really care that I look just like a normal person? Now Stone says in an Emmy Award winning way. People would have figured it out. There's no way anyone could keep a secret like that. People oh. would have figured it out. But that's the thing, Stone. Foreshadowing. And they did. They fucking did. 
And you know what they did once they found out these were real people and not slave robots? They were just enslaved people? Nothing! Nobody cares! Nothing! So what? Somebody has to shovel the radioactive shit left after the war? Somebody has to drive a garbage truck! As long as it's not them, they just look the other way. At this point, Mercer gets very angry and he decides to pull out his gun. Now they're oh, already yeah. pointing their guns at him, so he immediately gets shot in the head. Damn. Oh, that's a that's And hilarious. his Traeger juice goes all over the table with his blueberry pie. Was he having like high tea or something? <laughs> Stone and Cortez and fight their way through Mustafa's men and try to make their escape through the club via the roof. But uh-uh. Dip to black. Open. Tom Cruise. Tom Cruise. Here he is. I just turned 61. I do all my own stunts now. <laughs> now we're not just fighting employees of the club. We're fighting those armored, I guess, mercenaries? Mm -hmm. Now these are Tom Cruise's men and they are much yeah, tougher than the regular bouncers. They do all their own stunts. But wait, Tom Cruise is Richter's right hand man. Yeah. Remember from the start of the game? Yeah. So does that mean that Mustafa has been working with him the whole time? Just how far down does this conspiracy go? I tell you how far down it goes, right to the top. Right, Stone and Cortez fight their the way top. up the stairwell and onto the, the roof of the Jesus. building. We are now on the roof. <laughs> We're waiting for Doc and Herzog to come in the helicopter, but suddenly, a sniper shot rings out. No. Not my Cortez. Puerto Rican king. <gasps> Cortez, he's just no. been quickscoped. No. <laughs> oh, it's not looking good. Oh no, Cortez, are you all right? Stone pulls Cortez into cover, and then she pushes out with her gun at the ready. She's going to find this shooter. But it seems the shooter found out. her. <gasps> with a whoosh, someone appears behind Stone. She's got wings. Oh my God, this is out. the lady that Herzog was in jail with. Mm -hmm. Now this purple-haired lady, she's in a special ghillie suit. And she's holding a cool sniper rifle. But most importantly, she goes invisible. What? Stone just swings her katana wow. wildly into the air until she eventually okay. hits this invisible lady a couple of times. Stone and the invisible lady, they charge at each other with their blades drawn and... Stone runs back over to Cortez. Was she a synth human too? I killed that lady. Anyway. We got to get out of this place, Cortez. Look, the helicopter is floating in the airspace. Oh, and look, Doc and Herzog is inside of there. Uh-oh, it ain't over yet, Stone. Tom Cruise just bursts through the door. He is up on the roof now and he is furious with the box office numbers for Ghost Protocol. <laughs> Hurry, hurry. Quick, guys! You, you gotta, gotta get, get to, to the, the chopper. chopper. You gotta. Now, Tom get Cruise has to a very chopper. swift and confident stride. He's catching up quick. You know he's actually doing that stride. That's not a stunt double. Stone lifts Cortez <laughs> up onto the helicopter. Get this helicopter moving. We gotta get Cortez some medical attention. Stat. That means quick. But luckily, Doc is on board. He's gonna do some medicine. Doc, don't you stand there. Operate. With what? Right. Do you reckon they do improv with surgery with like a pizza knife and like, like oh man, we gotta get a moment. <laughs> Tracheotomy with a pen. And then into the scene comes Richter. Remember from the start of the game? He's the bad guy. This is a great chance for me to do shoot kill on both of them. Take aim, soldier. Bro, this this chance I won't miss. But Doc says, no, Stone. Don't do it. Cortez is in bad shape. We need to get out right now if we want to save him. Hannah, he's in a bad shape. All I need is one shot. You don't have one time! Shot. You need to evac <laughs> now! There was no time to fire a gun. Richter is still alive, and he's gonna be a big problem. The team fly back to HQ of the police station. We gotta save Cortez. Is That's so what matters. I Friendship. So Family. <laughs> End of chapter. God, oh my, dude, it feels like we're running a marathon. I literally went to the gym. I literally ran two and a half miles. I was less tired than I am right now. Yeah. Literally. 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 It's bullshit. Stone and the team rush into police HQ, 
and they decide to perform emergency surgery for Cortez right here on one of the office desks. Why didn't we just go to the hospital? In the morgue or somewhere with actual medical equipment? Why is Miss Wong on top of the fucking thing? So they knock all the stuff off. Wait, it was an actual doll from the game? They have like an actual doll of Miss Wong on the table? That nigga's a freak. Cortez, we gotta save you. Your femoral artery, it's been severed by the bullet. I gotta suck out the poison or something. <laughs> Shit. He's bleeding again. It's only one thing I for mean, what did you do to emergency stop the circumcision. <laughs> The now, Doc pours himself a shot of medical alcohol what? and then drinks it. Then he pours a second shot and this time puts all the surgical implements in it, sterilizing them. Cortez is lying shirtless on the desk. Doc gloves up. Uh oh. Hold him. Y'all not gonna give him no pain killers or nothing? Well, there's nothing wrong with his prostate. But we're gonna have to remove this bullet. Doc mainlines in some painkillers. Oh, okay. Sorry, Doc. You're gonna feel a slight pinch. Ow, 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 ow. <laughs> now it is time to surgical. Doc licks his fingers. Where? Make it first incision. What is he doing to sew it up? Where's the sewing instruments? You gotta that sew it only, back up. Oh, no sew, only cut. Oh my god. The textures on the ashtray pop in with life. Doc manages to pull out the <laughs> bullet from Cortez. <laughs> He's done it. Cortez is saved. We're Shouldn't good. Cortez be the one getting a Don't shot? Don't touch it. Look at all the blood on your hand. It's an open wound. And Doc goes, well, while we're here, let's just perform that circumcision, huh? <laughs> Hold him. <laughs> okay, so it's later now, and the gang is holed up in the police HQ. Cortez is fine. Don't worry. Thank God. Now, ever since that incident at the Death Panther Club, mm -hmm. Stone and her squad are being hunted down by Richter and his Tom Cruise gang. It's merely a matter of time before they attack the police HQ. You That's can't crazy. do that. Uh, look, There's even the Doc's police. on the lookout. Fat deus ex. <laughs> <laughs> we can't just stand around looking wistfully out the window. We gotta get a plan going, Stone. And suddenly, Herzog and Vivian burst into the room, and they have October with them. Now that everyone's here, I need you to listen up. Richter is on his way here right now. Uh. I know, I know, I'm scared too. But I have a plan. We're going to team up with this synth girl and fight our way out of the How building. Does that help? Yeah. How, why but is then she Herzog involved? pipes up and says, Uh, Stone, I'm not working with a robo. People might think that I'm robotic too. You seriously want to drag her with us? Richter will be doing do? the killing on her if they catch her. We're right. going to help her because we're the good guys. We're the cops. We never kill people unnecessarily. Yeah, other than those people in the park, you know, that whole <laughs> pile of bodies. Besides them. <laughs> and we figured out that they were, were people, which is why they were bleeding. But oh don't God. worry about that. It's now being invaded. Bum, bum, bum. <gasps> Everybody, get out your guns from their holsters and put bullets in them. So Stone and the gang fight their way through Richter's mercenaries in an attempt to escape Police HQ. It looks like they're going to make it to the exit, but oh no. Tom Cruise himself appears and closes oh, the door that they're going to go through. I've got you now, Stone. Now, Stone is looking directly at Tom Cruise, pointing her gun at him, when suddenly, bang, oh. a bullet hits near her foot. She turns around to see who fired it. Tom Cruise again? There's two of them. <laughs> well, it seems like Tom Cruise really does have a stun now. I called it. I called the Tom Cruise clone. <laughs> what did I say, baby? You said you thought they were clones. Clones! I know a clone when oh I see one God. in bad media. I've watched a lot of 1990s films. Oh, God. Don, this time you won't be saved by the bell. But Dude, both of these up. Toms are cruising for a bruising. So Stone and Maiwa Mo Shinderi use them stop with her saying, katana. You need to stop and then saying, the squad right. blows up the door and walks their way in. You all right, Stone? <sighs> we gotta get out of here. All good. Let's go. End of the very action. So Tom Cruise is chapter. dead, or were those only clones? I bet you they're only clones. Detective Stone. This time you won't be saved by the bell. 
I can't believe Open scene to the squad. Music. The streets are swarming with Richter's mercenaries. What on earth is happening? What are the gang gonna do? Everywhere they turn, they're ambushed by bad guys. They can't win this fight, so they retreat down an alleyway. They get a moment to catch their breath, and then October pipes up. She says, Hey guys, October here. Beep, beep, boop. I have an idea. Let's get my boyfriend involved. August will help. You won't make it without him. Remember him? He's holed up with some people nearby. It gets better every minute. So Stone goes, All right, that is good plan. Beep, beep, boop. <laughs> Stone and the squad slink Try their relate, way through you know. the alleyways of the city. Or, and they come to a very narrow, skinny passageway. Found a path. This way. Doc's like, uh, you guys go on ahead. I'll just, I'll find another way around. <laughs> right. Now, I'm once they reach anyway. the other side of the alleyway, they run into August. <gasps> and his team of synthetics is there. Are they still in construction here? And I think we're going to have yes. an all too human moment. <laughs> <laughs> October then runs to August and he embraces her. Take the shot! Take the <laughs> shot, Cortez! Get him on the road, Cortez! Stand down. Let him live. They kiss. You say, bro, I'm off a perk. I'm tripping right now. Am I seeing this shit right now? They touch. They even make love. And maybe more. <laughs> the squad watches on in silence, inspired Why by the she... passion. <laughs> Why do they keep bringing that girl with them? Would you want to just let her die in the fucking police office? Had to Where's bring the somewhere. cat? He's dead, bro. Rest in peace. Of it all. Where's the captain? Let's turn this frown upside down. Is the captain gonna betray them? Yeah, the captain's been betrayed them already. Oh, no. He's been betrayed them. No, but he said they were his kids. I left my family years ago. You're not my damn kids. He pumped them from his own loins. Yeah, you dropped from my ball sack, and I'm drop kicking you out of life. So August and October have a very touching reunion. August then leads Stone and her team to a helicopter. Everyone jumps on and they start to take off. And they're going to fly away together to safety to live out the rest of their robot lives. But before they can even do that, oh, an explosion God, goes damn. off and a bunch of the androids are killed. Somebody got a UAV, bro. <laughs> Somebody got a fucking four kill streak. So they start uh, taking off in the helicopter. But Stone stays on the ground. Get back down there. Stone! Go on! I'll take it from here. So the squad leaves in the helicopter, yeah, and crazy. Stone remains behind Look to have a boss RPG fight. on her back. Suddenly, someone walks into the Tom shop. Cruise? They've got steel-toed no, boots, it's gotta be Tom but Cruise. literally you can see each of the little piggies. <laughs> <laughs> it's Richter! And this oh, is a problem oh. on a scale we've never Look at seen stupid before. Stupid little mustache. Get it, Mr. B? Oh, I don't get it. So Richter, he's wearing a black exosuit, kind of like Raiden from Metal Gear Rising. Yeah. And he's also got a cool glowing cyber katana, oh, like Raiden from oh, Metal yeah. Gear Rising. Okay. He's yeah. actually the best. He's even got a bad guy quip. Hoping to get some kind of info from me. It won't matter after I kill you. That's a terrible that wasn't Stone even says nothing, at least not with words. She instead talks with her blade. Stone and Richter have a cool katana fight. Katana fight. Stone slashes Richter yeah. and he stumbles back and he hits some corrugated ah. eye. Stone has him cornered. Now she doesn't kill him. Stone instead kicks Richter through the corrugated iron wall what? and he falls. Falls down from oh, the top yeah. of the building that oh, they no. were fighting on down oh, no. into the city Why below. Is this <laughs> Stone sheaths her blade and walks Dude, away. He's just like really walking the line with every, he's just like taunting all these companies yeah. like somebody please try to claim my shit. Yeah. I'm coming for your ass. Yeah. The camera. Fade to black. Oh, I got the football team. The uniform is so bitchy. Now, we cut back to Police HQ. It is three months later. Is that right, what? Mr. B? Yeah. Yes. As you can see by the date. That can't be right. Are you calling me a liar? Anyway, we see a POV shot where we walk into the captain's office. The door <laughs> opens and... <gasps> it's Richter! He survived the fall onto George's car. 
So Richter walks into the room, and he says, Good to see you again, you dumbass idiot. And the captain <laughs> retorts, Well, Richter, your mom. Clearly an insult, old friend. Ooh, they're friends. I like your mom, Joe. What the hell are you doing? Come on, I'm captain, doing son. my job. Now Richter music. takes a seat, and he says, You know I'm going to find Stone, right? I'm going to kill her after the things that she did. The captain stands up. He walks over to the window, pours him and Richter a drink. He says, The bank really wants to run the city? No problem. Just leave my crew alone. What? You know I can't do that. The captain suspects that Richter is there to kill him. Huh. Well, Richter, looks like it's my time to punch out. And I was just one day away from retirement, and my daughter's wedding's tomorrow, and Damn. I almost paid off my college loans. Damn. And he goes, you know this horn? <laughs> <laughs> That's what I was waiting for. I now, bet you pulls alluding the to Stone, the, the captain oh, says, She's not a threat. She doesn't know, does she? Tell me, what happens when she learns the truth? She's the truth kid. that she's a synth. She's my dun, kid. Dun, dun, dun. And then but that, it doesn't matter because synths are people. So, so it, she's still a people. She's still a people. Captain goes, I don't know, Richter. But what I do know is that she's the best damn cop I got. Synth or not. Richter then says, Stone is a wild card. Synths like her are always going to cause trouble. Now, people like me get paid to make things right. Here they come. So Richter reaches for his gun. The Honorable Captain has been a thorn in his side for far too long. Even though you've interacted twice. All right, so be it. So the Captain also reaches for his gun. Bottoms up. We cut to outside the office, and then two gunshots. Wow. What does that mean? Did they both die? Did no. they both miss? No. We don't know. Captain's Fade definitely. to black. What yeah. the heck? All right, yeah, but what happens with Stone? Where is she now? We fade in. We're oh back with Stone, God. and she's in an old hotel. Old hotel. She picks up an old-timey hotel phone and My pulls up God. this orphanage, of all things. What? Hello? Don't hang up. You hear me? Stop calling. This is my last warning. He doesn't want to talk to you. You want me to back? They must be talking no. about that kid, that one that she spared, who she was watching cartoons with. Ah, uh, I not completely your forgot son. about him. This conversation is over. Well, come on, I killed his parents. That makes me <laughs> his new mom, right? <laughs> <laughs> his keepers, dude. <laughs> Look, I know, but please listen to me. Listen Don't to you me. understand how cruel this is? These children tell stories about their parents coming to pick them up any minute now, every single day. Officer, whatever you're trying to pull off, it just doesn't work this way. How many times I told you that I will take him with me? Look, we do appreciate the donations, but we can't let one of our children go. So, Stone wants to adopt that kid from earlier in the game. The orphanage won't let her because they've got rules. I like the idea of an orphanage being like, Look, lady, we can't just give our kids. <laughs> they live here. <laughs> but we can't let one of our children go. Especially with someone like you. What is now, while she's on the phone, bitch? a group of Richter's mercenaries are running down the hall oh, of the shit. hotel, and they oh, stack shit. up outside her door. They are about to bust in and kick oh, some ass. She, she's on he the phone. needs someone he can rely on, and it's clearly not you. Damn! You visit whenever you want and disappear for a few months. Our institution is not a petting zoo. I understand. I mean, but then it's not a petting voice zoo. pops up in the background. <clears throat> he says. Is that Hannah? Yes. <gasps> Hannah! I thought I'd never hear you again. But here I am. There's so many things going on right now. Oh, there's a new girl in our class. I think she likes me. What's her name? Her name's Olga. She's kind of sweet. Olga? But what's with the fucking names in this damn thing, you bro? You can't just insult the name Ugly Olga. Ugly ass name, Olga. Oh, you got a friend named Olga? My grandmother's name is Olga. I never met that bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Shame me. I never met her. So failed a math test last week, but it's okay. I don't bother much about it. Stone is trying to hold back the tears. And Mr. B, so am I. Ooh, <laughs> I joined the football team. The uniform is so bitching. We're being what? sponsored by Continental Standards. You won't believe the kicks they bought us. 
There's so much going on. Well, football and really soccer. Drop by, huh? I Madison, don't know, Bruiser. Football. Whenever I can. All right. I don't know what you want. For. You want to speak to Margaret? No, I'll be going. Look after Olga for me, okay? Stone yeah, hangs up the phone. Bad hips. She's gonna go confront all of Richter's men in this hotel hallway, and it's gonna be really cool. And then she cocks her gun. Right, the men outside go. her room are about to bust in, but she's gonna be ready for him. Fade to black. Where's everybody else? And that is the end of the game. I knew it! Are you fucking serious? No, not quite. Oh, okay, it's not. I was like, in my head, I was like, this is gonna be how the game fucking ends. Which would be a good ending. That'd be fine. I'd be happy with it. Happy with it doesn't make it good. There's a post credit scene going from play. <gasps> it's like my Lovely favorite Marvel movies. Chapter 12. It's every minute. Oh my God. We fade into the scene. And there's oh, anime, anime back scene. in time stone. So wait a minute. Yeah, the present time ending does end like that. And then this is now just the kind of wrapping up how we got here. Right. Look here. She's in a small interview room with a man in a suit. Everyone's just wearing like normal clothes and suits and then she's just wearing like edge running gear. I don't understand. <laughs> she is, she is, she's straight from cyberpunk and they're just from a different out. anime altogether. Sorry if I kept you waiting. No problem. Give me your full name, please. My name is Emma Lautner. What? How old are you, Emma? I'm 19. What? Okay, this is great. Why are you here today? I urgently need the money. Now, how much? I don't know. A lot. Is there someone you want to help? Yes. I heard about this place from a friend. We won't hand you the cash if that's why you're here. No, no. I just need to pay <gasps> for my son's treatment. Is he sick? Yes. She's not the one with tuberculosis. It's her Which son. Which I knew it wasn't but her, but her I didn't think it was her son. Her son can't be the boy she saved before in the orphanage. Because blue hair stone's in the past. So does that mean that Stone had a kid in the past that she's forgotten about? Uh? Damn. Okay, so here's what's going to happen. Continental Standard will pay for your kid's treatment. Mm -hmm. Family values are very important to us. We will give you a white-collar job, nothing extraordinary. Mm -hmm. A year later, you will wake up at one of our locations, not knowing that anything ever happened. What? Sign this form and take your pills. Doesn't that sound a lot like what October was saying? Like they do with synths? When they wipe their memory? What happens when you get recalled? New mission. New memories, if any. Sometimes they wake you up, you know, with memories of yesterday. So Stone was a synth the whole time? What a surprise! Wait, didn't Doc say that October, who was also a synth, was actually 100% human? Stone, she's 100% human. What the actual <laughs> fuck? Yeah, Wait, so remember. how does that work? See, it turns out no one has invented the synth. They are just ordinary people who have had their memories wiped. We're just ordinary people. Okay, sorry. And Thank then you. a whole bunch of implants put in them. We don't know which way to go. <laughs> so what that means is Stone was an ordinary lady. She had a baby. The baby was ordinary as well. And then it developed latent tuberculosis. From the mouth. From the mouth. Very yeah. But she could not afford the medicine. So she said, I know where I can find the money. You make me a synth, I'll forget my son, and I'll become essentially a mindless robot for you to order around. By the way, what will my job be when I become a synth? Oh, nothing serious, just mm -hmm. an office worker or something mm -hmm. like that. But it's not true. Pretty soon it turns out she's some sort of fighter person. She ends up with a fighter robot person. arm, and... She ends up in a prison for war crimes. And that's the real end of the game. What's Vivian's deal? Because she's got that whole show. Did you see that? Show. You didn't see? Oh, man, maybe we should be OBSing. You should check this out. They're like, there's like a cooking show with quiet actress as Vivian. Check this out. My name is Vivian Niemandsverdriet. And if you think you've recognized me from somewhere, it is because you did. Not that anybody cares anymore. Oh, so the weaponsmith was an Olympic shooter. 
Oh. I happened to win. And there I was, on my own. Reinventing my career and venturing into what the world the of entertainment happening? as a celebrity chef was the best thing my agent had in mind. What? So this is actually canon to the game? Yeah. I thought, I thought you knew that going in. What the fuck? I okay, and then she ends in. up working at a mercenary police station. Yeah. Dude, nice subscriptions, dog. <laughs> <laughs> what is happening? That's all you need. <laughs> okay. Hey, it's your girl, Vivian. And this is now a real actor cosplaying as the character from the game. What the fuck is happening? There's too many different universes here. I'm confused. Dear Vivian, my name is Gunther, and I'm death row inmate B2155 at the Zakatsky Island Maximum Security Prison. Okay. There is so much to unpack. Yeah. Oh what? my god. I Let's unpack this. Yeah. <laughs> I wish I wish you had shown me this weeks ago. <laughs> I brought it up like twice and you always just oh. you just disregard me. Whatever, whatever. <laughs> I don't care about Vivian, I would say. This is Doc. A living proof that Dostoevsky's characters are real people. Oh. Huh? What? Meet Detective Stone. Okay. She's a badass katana wielding Hong Kong police officer. This must be in Hong Kong? Ah, uh, yes. Uh, katana. The Standard. weapon of Hong Kong. <laughs> Standard issue. I it's kind of funny, and it's not like we always understand what she's saying. Frankie, this shit is incredible. But it's her combat skills that do most of the talking. Are they lampshading the bad voice acting? Dude, yes. it is canon that yes. they can't understand her. Yeah. That's so but funny. Do you think it was written in? Like they went, oh, she'll have a funny accent, yeah. and that'll be unique about her character. Yeah. Oh. So this. Oh, yeah. this is that the, the waitress from the Atomic Heart. Oh what my the god! Fuck right, is so happening? they fleshed all that out too. I feel bad for this game now, because we spend the whole time ripping on it. They've got funny accents, but boy, did they try. Mm. They this did is their this best. is it. This is it. Pause. 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 That is Cortez, and that is Stone. Look at this son of a bitch. Talking. <laughs> Talking. <laughs> and he's white. Well, I mean, also he's white. <laughs> right, yeah. That's canon, though. He really, he... They've leached Wait, all the just... melanin he from did. him. Oh. What the oh, hell? I, I like, okay. I hope someone got, got fired for that one. What the hell? Some of this production stuff, you know, quite impressive. They didn't have to go to all this extra work. Mm. It's not. They tried. Yeah, 100%. Yeah, they, like, 100% tried. It feels like the language barrier has been the main thing. Mm. Otherwise, honestly... I think the voice actors. Yeah. I think the lead lady, they should have gone, sorry, mm. love, it's just not working out. <laughs> yeah. And someone was just too polite. I liked it. I found it very endearing. It, did this really come out in 2023? Like, is that real? Yes. Because if it really came out in 2023, it could be one of those things where the COVID barrier, people weren't meeting in person to, like, workshop this stuff. And they could not, maybe when they were putting it together... They didn't see the final product soon enough. Okay. So then they voice acted the whole fucking game. Then finally, when they're working with the voice lines, they're like, wait a minute, this is shit. I've heard of a couple of things like that, similar situation, mm -hmm. where they're like, dude, we didn't know it was shit until we got it. Right. And then we kind of just had to work with what we got. Beans? What's the deal with you and this goddamn soup? Sushi and cable? Oh, I can go all night if you want me to. Look. I ain't got all day. Here's what's going to happen next. I hate My it. boys will get down here and start tearing your fucking carcass apart. Now make sure you're with us until they're through. You got that? Am I just too nitpicky? Because I despise it. I think it's not great. Okay, but yeah. but can you find like a silver lining with it? Like yeah, a, like I said, I think it's okay. endearing. Yeah. They were like, we don't want her to be British. Mm -hmm. So we, she will be other foreign and it still needs to be english speaking right yeah. because it's an english audience yeah <laughs> uh, i'm sure she's lovely in real life i'm gonna be real sure yeah. i would like to do a small part in the Ooh, sequel yeah like i could be the canteen yes, worker put i'll it say in something a like in the sequel <laughs> soup <laughs> soup <Shoot>. beans <laughs> Yeah, but no, not, look, I don't think I could actually be a voice actor. Those guys do a tough job. Because it would be like, oh, can I do this one kind of sarcastic? <laughs> like, every time. Yeah, it'd be like, <laughs> all right, so you're in a very serious, heartfelt scene. Oh, Frederick, God. the fighter in your party, he's just taken a poisonous dart to the neck. Damn. He's not going to make it. Go. 
Oh, Frederick. What's happened to your neck? <laughs> hey, I thought he was about to level up. Ruh row. Keep Frederick dies, and he's like, well, guys. That just happened. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Mr. Mr. B, you've leveled up your voice acting. Oh, wow. Well, there was that one comment on one video one time that asked if you mm. had paid for me to get voice training lessons. I was <laughs> <laughs> like, I didn't think I paid had him at all. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Is there anything else to say about this game before we close it for good? Obviously, we will be refunding the game on Steam. But, you know, <laughs> I hope they make more stuff. Yeah, look, I hope they at least turn a profit and can make a sequel. You know I what? I'm going to give this my official Jimquisition rating <laughs> and give this a solid 7 out of 10, but I never played it. So. Yeah. You know what? I give it the full highest rating I can give. 10 out of 10. Wow. And it easily scores my badass seal of approval. <laughs> uh, the problem is 20% of the audience... <laughs> Is even going to get the irony. <laughs> Wait, please don't start doing the better seal of approval. <laughs> sure, sure. Uh, what other games can get the better seal of approval? Oh, my God. Oh, I feel like I need to go outside oh. and just, like, lay in a field and and just experience real life for a bit. Dude, that, at some points, made me think I was actually going to just start fast-forwarding the video. Yeah, I wanted just to so bad. So bad. I mean, I'm sure you can see it in our faces. We're just sticking it out. But, but I feel like it would have been worth it to see it to the end. And the issue is I was wrong. Yeah, no, the ending yeah. was not satisfying at no, all. No, none of it. it. It was from the first 20 minutes of the video. The rest of the video was exactly what I thought it was going to be. Yeah. The entire time. With the exception of the karaoke. Car Thank you. Yeah. And the ramen scene. Yeah. Those are the only things that legitimately took me for <laughs> surprise. Everything else. And the bad bitch comment. Oh, yeah. That shit was hilarious. Yeah. And I think the rest of it, I'm pretty much like, yeah, this is exactly what I thought it was going to be. For the record, it's very mad that they killed that guy. Mm, yeah. I was really hoping... I was really hoping that they were going to find out he wasn't actually pulling out a gun. He was mm -hmm. pulling out, like, a picture of, like, his kids. Yeah, yeah. A like, when I pull out my knife phone, and then yeah. like, ah! Yeah. Um, also, their commentary on whether they would use the terminology bad bitch, hilarious to me. I would be uncomfortable using it, but I'd get it tattooed. Great. Great commentary, dude. I would love to say mm -hmm. that I had a great time. Uh-huh. I would love for you to say that too. What would you say? I hope you guys enjoyed the video. <laughs> I would like to say, I really would like to know how many people are here somehow. If you had to pick a waifu, male or female, name what character it would be. Who is the best waifu material? Oh man, in the game? Yeah, from the game. Definitely Doc. Waitress. Doc? Doc is literally... Literally, the character from Archer, the doctor from Archer that marries the computer. That's actually who Doc is. You guys know who I'm talking about? That guy who dresses up his computer as like a waifu thing and then marries it? I thought that was Plankton. Anyway. Plankton? Plankton's the guy from Spongebob. Yeah, and he's married to the computer. Oh my god. But yeah, that's, it's definitely the waitress from the beginning of the, the movie, obviously. I low-key thought the waitress was an assassin the whole time, so oh, I'm kind of disappointed she didn't man. get her moment. Yeah, that sucks. It would have worked in fine with the way the fucking game was going. It would have been fantastic. And the waitress pulls out a gun and they fucking blow her brains yeah, out. That's it's what I was, I was waiting for it the whole time. Yeah. But with that, we'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for joining us in this fucking marathon. We'll be back for more Internet Historian later. And now I'm off to do the real life things.